these are the radial kits. They came with a big IR. Uh, each one has four 40 foot ground radials. 40 foot is pretty large uh, for us, so we're going to have to bend these around some of the objects in the backyard. Um, I've got some stainless steel hardware that I got here so we can attach them to that radial plate uh, without a problem. And here are some what are called uh, garden staples. And just little things that you can attach to the end of the radial, push into the ground and it will hold it in that position. Uh, the hardware that I'm using is number 10. It's stainless. I got uh, nuts, uh, screws, and washers, lock washers, and some fender washers. So hopefully that will be enough to do the job. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, use this existing radial plate that's down here. I've got the radials in there that were put in place for the original butternut antenna. So there's quite a few radials out here. Uh, but we're going to add more. The more the merrier. It's impossible to have too many radials. So, uh, as you can see, this thing's well grounded right here. And uh, it's grounded up to the antenna with this ground strap right here. So we're just going to use holes in the radial plate. Now there are three sets of four. So we'll attach them with the hardware and see what happens here. Eventually I'll get down to it. There we go. We'll probably end up dropping some of them. Now the reason for stainless steel, uh, it's not a perfect solution. There are screws types made that are a perfect solution, but we've got copper radials and an aluminum plate. And the problem with that is, I think that's aluminum plate. The problem with that is that when you put dissimilar metals next to each other, uh, there will be corrosion, and that's not good. Okay, so we're going to put this down through a washer. Stainless steel does not corrode. It doesn't rust, and that's why we use stainless steel for furniture, or not furniture, but tableware and stuff like that. You can see I'm already losing pieces. Okay, I'm going to put another washer under there. This here, and then we little washer. And then a stainless lock washer. And then this will be the hardest part. Well, well, that's not proving to go on very easily. Okay, and then a nut. There. 
Okay, the radials are gathered or wired a little bit strange, but we'll make it work. I think. There's two radials per bundle. I yeah, just put a little tiny knot in the end. I'm going to stretch it out and put this. In the ground. Okay. Now. How did that happen? I don't know, but it's not good. I think there's a guy. Uh, yeah, he's signed. Give us our uh, oh. propane. How you doing? Oh, pretty good. How are you guys doing? Doing great. Okay, thank you. I'll put this one over here. 